Picture that. You know, the Bible uses a variety of word pictures to help us understand how God moves in our lives and who exactly he is. The Bible explains that God is concerned about your and my life and he wants us to know him. So he uses pictures to help us. Today we're going to talk about one particular picture and that has to do with the bird's wings. Think of an eagle as an example. As the eagle soars through the sky, we're all kind of amazed as we look up and think, what must it be like to fly that way? And those wings are so powerfully strong. And then there's another image that we get when we think of wings. And that would be even like of a, of a chicken with their baby chicks. And the wings there are less about strength, but they're there to love and to keep the baby chicks warm and comforted and protected and keep them safe from danger. So we're going to talk today about the way that God's Word explains that He covers over us with wings similar to what a bird does with the baby chicks. Well, I want to talk to you for a few moments about a verse of Scripture that describes God's love for me and you to be similar to what you would picture if you thought of a, of a mother chicken taking care of her baby chicks. And it's found in Psalm 91 and verse 4. And it says there, He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. Why don't you say that with me? He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. And you know, one way I like to memorize verses of Scripture is not only to say them over and over, but to kind of uh, rhyme them a little bit. So I have a little bit of music that we're going to listen to here that will connect it, and, and then we're going to kind of, in a way, sing the verse along with this music. Okay, we got to jump in at the right time. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. Say it with me. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. One more time. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. And you know, not only is it good to memorize his word, to to sing it, to get it in our minds and our heart. But more importantly, is how do we take those verses and apply them to our heart? Like, what is God saying to me and to you today with this Psalm 91 and verse 4? I will cover you with my feathers. I will shelter you with my wings. His faithful promises are our armor and protection. Psalm 91 and verse 4. So what does that mean to think of the, that you and I are under his wings? And there's two things I want you just to consider with me. And the first one is the fact that God cares about you and I a lot. And that if we would trust in him, then he's going to take care of us. You know, God loves you and he loves me. And from the very time of creation, God's desire has been for boys and girls and men and women to be close to him. And in the same way that a chicken takes care of the loved ones, it's, it's, it's watching over and protecting them because of a love and a concern for them. You know, it's an amazing thing happened. One day Jesus was walking into Jerusalem and the Bible says he was outside the edge of the city and that he was looking out at the people and so many of them were not believing in him, were not following him. And the Bible says that in his heart, he kind of ached and he said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I wish that I could have gathered you under my wing, just like a mother bird 
gathers her chicks, but they wouldn't come. You see, God wants you and I to trust him. And he says, if we will, his love for us is that faithful promise that we can count on for our protection. And really, that was the second part I wanted you to think about with me. And that is that God's promise is to protect us when we stay close by his side. You see, if we move away from God, if we kind of decide to do things our own way and go our own direction, it puts us in a place where there's more danger. But God says, if we'll follow him, if we'll stay close by him, just like those baby chicks get close to their mom as they do, they're protected. In fact, there's a lot of instances where people who raise chickens have discovered that a chicken will even be willing to give up its own life to protect its young. And that's really what God has done for you and I. So I just want to encourage you today. Think about this. When we hear the idea that God will cover us with his feathers and shelter us with, under his wings, it's his faithful promises that are our armor and our protection. God's promise that he loves you. God's promise that he'll protect us. And he wants us to believe that. Hey kids, I'm Pastor Christine. I'm just waiting for my friend Junior. I really want you guys to get to know him. Um, and you never know what to expect with Junior. He's hey, Pastor hey. Christine! Oh, Junior? Pastor I, Christine, I are you up there. there? I'm up here. Come up here, Junior. I want you. Hey! Hey, hey Pastor Junior. Christine, hi. Hi. Will you say hi to all the kids that watching at home? Hi, kids. So how have you been, Junior? How's, how's life going? Oh, well, it's, I'm going okay, but yeah, I haven't been in school for a long time. Really? You yeah. Know, a lot, are, are you guys all out of school right now, too? You know, some of the kids are doing school at home. Have you been doing school at home, Junior? No, we're not doing that, like, online oh, school thing okay. yet, but my mom said maybe soon. Oh, maybe soon? Yeah, okay. but anyway, I'm getting in a little bit of trouble. You've been getting in trouble, Junior. Yeah, because my brother Eric and me, we're home and we're like sort of cooped up in our house and it feels yeah. sort of like he's a pain. Well, you know, sometimes, Junior, it does, when you're all at home together, it can be kind of interesting and different. Yeah, I mean, he's my older brother and he says mm -hmm. that he's supposed to pick on me, but I don't really think he has to. But anyway, guess what happened? Oh, uh, what happened, Junior? We had an adventure. An adventure? I love adventures. Yeah, and you know what I did was I took Eric and my dog, Frankie. I have a dog named Frankie. Did you ever meet him? I did not. I didn't know you had a dog. Yeah, he's two years old, and you know what he does? He likes to lick me like this. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dogs kind of like to do that. Yeah, and anyway, so, so I took Frankie to the playground. You did? Yeah, my mom said it was okay. Yeah, it was fun, but only it did it after a while, well... After a while, I wait, kind wait. of, what I kind of got wait. in trouble. You got in trouble at the park? With yeah, Frankie? because I took the leash off Frankie, and he went crazy. He went running all over one side of the park, and then the other side of oh, the park, oh. and then he was barking at people, and, and he was out in the road, and everybody was saying, get control of your dog. Oh, my. Wait. But is he okay? What? Yeah, we, the, he finally came to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you got in trouble for that? Yeah, I got in trouble, but I thought, why am I in trouble? I just felt bad because Frankie had a leash and it was making it so he couldn't run free and do whatever he wanted to do. Oh, so, so ex exactly why did you take off that leash? Well, because, like I said, he, was, he makes him sort of stuck and he didn't get to go run free. Oh, I think I think I know what happened here. So, Junior, I know you you love Frankie, right? Yes, I do. I like it even when he licks me. Even when he licks you, right? And it's good that we love our dogs. A lot of our ki kids at home they have dogs, and it's so good. Um, you know, when you get to spend time with them or take yeah, them for a walk. Yeah, but if you just take the leash off, then they can run and go crazy. They can, but they could also get hurt or get lost. We don't want our dogs to get hurt or get lost. Mm. There's a lot of things, what if they ran in the road or they got lost and couldn't find their way back to you or back yeah, home. That's kind of what the people were telling me in the park. Right, but you know something that's really cool about a leash? Is a leash keeps your dog close to you so your dog's safe. 
So Frankie's safe when he's with you. And when he's close with you, he won't get lost, he won't run away, he won't get hurt, he won't be scared if he's all alone. So, well, I didn't really think of it that way, but so kind of then at least isn't really a bad thing because we're just sticking together. You're together, exactly, Junior. And, and Frankie knows you love him because you feed him, right? Yes, I do. And you give him treats. Yes, I like to give him treats sometimes and he jumps up in the air like he's saying, give me some treats, give me some treats. <laughs> And you scratch his head, right? Yes, I do. So see, Frankie knows that you love him, even if you don't take his leash off, because you're protecting him. Well, you know what? That kind of makes sense. And you know, all this talk about Frankie making yeah. you kind of miss him. I wonder if I should maybe go home and see him or something. I, I think you should go home and play fetch so with him. So let me see if I got this right. A leash is not a bad thing because it just keeps us close to our dog. Exactly. We stay close together, and that's a good thing. Okay, well, I'm going to see you another time, but for now, i got to go. So I'll okay. see you later. I'll see you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Well, talking about how it is that God covers us with his wings, I happen to have with me an eagle puppet that I like to use sometimes with the kids. And um, see if I can get it on here. And so it's, it kind of makes it where it's almost like it's flying and you can see it swooping down. And, and there's something amazing about an eagle and its wings, the way that they soar and they glide. And an eagle kind of represents strength. And you know, God is a strong protector. When it says that his faithful promises are our armor and our protection, we can know because God is strong enough. And I wanted to have a baby eagle as well, but I, I didn't have one. So I thought, well, we got to start with an egg. Uh, as you know, the birds, uh, they give birth with a, a baby and an egg. And then we'll open the egg and, and I'll pull out my little eagle here. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but this eagle that we'll use for a moment here is kind of like a, a baby eagle. And the truth is, guys, that as long as the baby eagle is close with his mom or his dad, that's where the safety is found. And, and if this baby eagle is out on its own, uh, it's in danger because something would try to harm it. It isn't ready to fly yet. It can't find its own food. Well, in a very real way, as Christians, when we're following God and following his ways, we're like his children. And he's saying, look, I will protect you, but I need you to stay close by my side. One of the reasons that we learn what the Bible says and we think about the teachings of Jesus, about following him, following his ways, is because that, when we trust him and we follow his ways, we're staying close by his side. That's where the safety and protection is found. So I'm going to try to stay close to God so that I can be under the shelter of his wings. And I hope that you're going to do the same thing. Just before we're done today, I wanted to take a moment just to remind you what we've heard about. Staying close to God is where we find his protection. He has a love for us and wants to cover us and to keep us safe. And you know, when we make a decision to put our faith in God, trusting those faithful promises, knowing that's where our protection can be found. When we make that choice, God's able to move in our heart the way that he wants to. I just thought it would be right just to pray with you before we close today. And Lord, I just want to thank you so much for each one of the persons watching this right now. You see our hearts, Lord. You see who we are. You see our lives, what we've been through, the youngest persons to the oldest. And I just ask, Lord, would you help us? You said if we would draw near to you, you would draw near to us. Would you help our faith to be strong, Lord? to know that we can count on you to protect us and to cover us and to be that safety that we need. Lord, we put our faith in you, we count on you, and we're asking for your protection. We ask it in Jesus' name, amen.